Second recipe, gambari o, o matzankolle, which are a type of prawn. We call them karamat prongs, which is their literal translation. But they're a special type of shrimp that come from the Mediterranean. Uh, I'm very pleased to have this product. So we have these beautiful prawns that are already cleaned. We have cherry tomatoes, and we're just going to put a few cherry tomatoes in a mixing bowl. We're going to season them with a little bit of black pepper and a little bit of salt and then a little bit of olive oil. And then we're going to add to it a little bit of torn basil, just torn basil, and then we're just going to mix it around a little bit. I think everybody in their life has made a tomato salad. So at this point, by mixing it a little bit, you get a small emulsification from the pulp on the inside of the tomato, and it almost turns creamy. You can just bruise the tomato a little bit. Can everybody see that? Pretty simple, yes? yes. Salt and pepper. That must have been me. Okay. I have a pot of boiling water. I'm going to season it with salt. Pretty complicated stuff here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take, and again, if you don't have the same prawn, no worries. You can use any shrimp or any langoustine. And I'm just going to boil these guys. And in my restaurant, I cook my beans al uccelletto, so I cook them in olive oil. If you want to abbreviate it, you can use a pre-cooked canned bean. Uh, if you don't, and you want to go through arduous process, if you can find fresh beans, like a cranberry bean or something, fabulous. Don't worry, bolotti, anything fresh is great. I'm going to take a small amount of these beans and I'm going to warm them up with my shrimp. Not for too long. And very simply, I'm going to take my shrimp. And what I want you to walk away in terms of sort of the concept of the conference, which is Mediterranean food and the use of seafood in the Mediterranean diet, is we're cooking mostly with olive oil, yes. We're doing short cooking times, so not using a lot of energy in our cooking. We're using olive oil as a base, and there's typically very few ingredients in traditional Italian cooking. So when you see a chef that's putting you know, pine nuts and basil and sun-dried tomatoes and all this other crap in it. Not Italian. Less is more, and learning to use things that are simpler is more the signature of what the Italian kitchen's about. So you've got this beautiful salad of warm beans, and now you've got this emulsification going on. So you have this beautiful... And of course, always finish with a little olive oil, never too much. Is there anybody who can't do this? <laughs>